Hi, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we will talk about nouns, particularly on abstract and concrete. What is a noun? It is a word that represents a person, place, or thing. Everything we can see or talk about is represented by a word. That word is called a noun. You might find it useful to think of a noun as a naming word. Abstract. It is a noun that refers to an intangible concept such as an emotion, a feeling, a quality, or an idea. In other words, an abstract noun does not refer to a physical object. It is sometimes helpful to think of an abstract noun as a word that names something that you cannot see, hear, touch, smell, or taste. Here are some of the examples of abstract nouns. Human qualities, bravery, brilliance, coldness, elegance, humility, wisdom, emotions, feelings, happiness, pride, fascination, excitement, anger, amazement. Concrete. A concrete noun represents something that can be seen, touched, tasted, heard, or smelt. In other words, a concrete noun is something you can perceive with at least one of your senses. Here are some of the examples of concrete nouns. Sight, cat, table, suitcase, Susan, team, woman, hearing, noise, music, sound, whistling, chirps, choir, taste, medicine, cakes, steak, spaghetti, chips, wine, smell, aroma, scent, odor, savor, rottenness, spray, touch, baggage, chair, puppy, skin, computer, cabinet, Task one, name it, say it. Task two, spot the answer. Directions, use a notepad and a pencil. Sit work one, look for the concrete noun in the sentence. Number one, is this your pencil? Number two, Carla wants to buy a toy. Number three, she drove the car yesterday. Number four, it is really hot. I want to drink water. Number five, the old building is about to collapse. Seat work number two, use the following abstract nouns in the sentence. Number one, fear. Number two, loyalty. Number three, defeat. Number four, honesty. Number five, advantage. Number six, generation. Great job! Thanks! 